I spent $100 at Walmart to have my own at-home skate park. If you're looking to see what it's like to have a budget at-home setup, then this video is for you. I'll also be having a barbecue, got my first ever grill, and I landed a brand new world's first trick on my scooter, which I'll definitely show you in this video. I don't feel too confident with these plastic ramps like you usually see on the internet, but the budget was 100 bucks, and we got a few obstacles, so let's see what happens. $23 for this plastic ramp, $15 for this ramp, $10 for this road cone, and $52 for this grind rail. That's a total of exactly $100 spent at Walmart to have this backyard skate park. I did bring out some of my own obstacles such as my grind rail and my kicker ramp to add to the setup. I have no idea how this is gonna work out, but the only way to find out is to just try to hit everything. For the first ramp being $15, <laughs> the price describes the quality. Second ramp costs a little bit more, a little bit stronger, but it definitely moves a lot easier on the floor. I believe you can make anything work, but the true potential comes to the quality of the product. Plastic ramps have just always been a thing that everybody struggles with. Kind of get what I deserve, but the grind rail that I got for $52, this one doesn't look too bad. Like if you just really wanted the grind rail, you didn't have too much cash, $52, it's not bad. It's a little light so it moves. See the end of my rail, how the leg is at the end, and this one, the rail sticks out past the leg. The only issue is if you go too slow, the rail will lift up, it's just so light. I wanna see if I can combine some of the obstacles now and try to put them together and get some lines. See if you can put some things together and make it happen. Got this little grill piece going. Cooked some food yesterday for Memorial Day. Made some chicken and vegetable skewers. Put some zucchini, tomatoes, peppers, chicken, and also made a side steak just to kind of test this thing out. Full electric, piped on this. Gonna be cooking some good food, so forward to that. And now that it's a little later in the day, the sun is not killing me, I wanna see if I can at least put this all together and try to come up with some lines where I can hit everything. These are my obstacles that I've had before. Nice quality ramp, nice quality rail. And this is the $100 skate park right here. Everything that we see right here is a $100 skate park from Walmart, but I'm gonna try to use everything. I'm gonna set this up so we can kind of go in circles and hit everything at least once in different directions. Let's try it. That would be like the tightest competition run you've ever seen in your entire life. Working with this, this is feeling good. Different tricks. are tight. I feel like I'm doing everything in one breath. But I never really gave my opinion on the Walmart skate park. I think the rail was good. Rail is a good thing. 50 bucks. Can't really go wrong. It's not the best rail, but as far as quality, the two ramps, they're plastic. You kind of get what you're asking for. Road cone. Can you get a bad road cone? This is a mini one, so you can do a lot of tricks over it. And obviously the stuff that I have already, that's good quality. The garage jump ramp and the homemade grind rail. But if you only have a hundred bucks and you want to make it work, Let's do one more line and see if we can go make this new flat trick happen. Pause, pause, pause. One more idea. You see this? Before we do the new flat trick, this looks interesting. Three obstacles, rail over cone, back to rail. Ha! <laughs> 
That does it for here. Let's go ride flat. That was a brandy new one. Oh man. If you made it this far into the video, good for you because you got a chance to win one of my, or a pair of my signature wheels. Not these, unfortunately. I'm gonna be putting on these next on one of my scooters, depending on which one wears out first. But these, these I think have been ridden for about a week or two. These are a used pair of my SIG wheels. So anybody in the comments, leave a comment. You guys made it. You guys watched the video always stand. One of you get a chance to win one of my wheels or a pair of my wheels. Let me say that again. Another one in the backyard, there's one more trick that I want to do. And it has to do with the last trick that we just did. So let's try to do this one. Thank you for watching this long. Hope you win the wheels. And let's get this last trick. There it is. Nice long combo. Give them some wheels to you guys. If you guys want a new set, check out the link in the description. Follow Envy, follow myself. If you want an older set, keep watching these videos. I'm giving away my old parts all the time. I'll be doing it more often, especially for those who watch the video longer. So looking forward to your comments. Thank you for watching. Before we go, I have a quick question and this really has to do with you and what you guys have to say. Now, I believed that riding the oil slick unions always looked good in footage i think the color was cool i think that youtube liked it better i don't know i based my decision off looks and that i swore you guys enjoyed it more but please tell me in the comments this is whatever you guys say i'm gonna do so you're the boss right now do you like titanium union better i have these bars right here that we're riding before i personally like them better just because they're a little stronger and they throw different but as far as looks what do you want me to ride more? What do you think looks better in videos? Especially GoPro videos. It's the big reason why I picked oil slick in the first place. So please, titanium or the oil slick right here, you can see. Here you go, right here. These two. Please tell me, anyone who's still watching, please let me know. I'm really itching to change to titanium. But if you think the oil slick looks better, then by all means, you're the boss. You control what I ride mostly. Maybe not all the time, but this one is on you. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'm out of here. See you every single day for a new video. Later.